Okay, so on our last uh, video, um, I showed you how to measure the output um, of the liquid from the drains. Um, but through this journey, I have picked up some tips, and this was actually a tip from um, someone on a site where I posted some of my information, and I thought it was a really good tip to share. So as you can see, with this um, drain, this is my left drain, you can see that there is the stitch still from where the surgeon put the two in. Well, this can become very irritated, especially whenever you're putting your binder on. So as you can see, I always try to make sure that my tube is down and then roll the binder back over it um, to make it as comfortable so that it's not poking directly in. But sometimes when you are sleeping, it can rub around here and it can become irritated. So I had um, a follower that offered this suggestion and I thought it was good and wanted to share. So you can simply get a small panty liner like this one. And what we're going to do, we don't need the whole thing and actually you can save this part for the next time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take my scissors and I'm going to cut here and cut just this part of the panty liner off. And as you can see, it's still stuck to the plastic. I'm not gonna do anything with that just yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up in the middle of the panty liner. You can simply leave it like that if you want, but I'm more of a perfectionist. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to cut like this and like this and simply make myself a little area like that. Now, what I can do is take the panty liner off. And you can either do it this way or this way. I think what I'm going to do is this way. And just simply, because it has the adhesive on the back, you can simply do this. And now the panty liner is on your skin and it's not going to rub here. Also, it provides a little bit of a buffer so that it's not going to hurt as much when um, the binder is put over it. And as you can tell, my um, steri strips have already been removed. You would not want to do this before the steri strips have been removed and probably um, until you at least have had your first follow-up uh, post-op with your surgeon. But I thought this was a nice little uh, tip and I'm sure this will help quite a few people. So uh, stay tuned for any other tips and if this helped, um, just hit like and share. Thank you.